<laughs> Hello. God, I don't know what this is. <laughs> How are we doing? It's Thursday and I'm back. Uh, so we're going to be back doing a bit of a leak tonight as I jump in the right feed somewhere. Yay, there we go. I see there's a new CG, or I think there is. I'm going to go and have a look at the... Um, only only when I've logged in. Um, so, I'm going to go listen to Galnet. Because I think it probably won't take us that long to get there. See if we can go and do it. See what it's about first. As soon as this loads up. How you all doing? How's your bank holiday if you're in the UK? Mine has been basically pissing around in the garden this morning. <laughs> um, while it's actually had a bit of sunlight this morning and, and warmth, which was nice. And I felt well enough to do it. And apart from that, I've been playing DCS World because I realised I haven't played it for so long. It's one of those games if you don't play it and you don't keep your skills up on it, they just go... So I jumped back into that and surprisingly I was really good at the F-16 when I jumped into it but I've, I've forgotten everything about the F-18 Hornet which is a bit of a pity because all, all of the um, Top Gun Maverick stuff around at the moment but I did take some nice pics of um, my Hornet in a Top Gun Maverick skin which I'm gonna I'll pop on my uh, I'll pop on the um, Twitter later right first of all some sound might do good. Your job? I'm just not too fussy. I could have just the one for you. Right. So first of all, let's put some spectacles on. I need to get some new ones of these. Oh that's what I needed to do today. And I didn't. I don't like the blockiness of these, the big square blocky ones. Um, can you get a gallon light through this? I, I never even bloody looked. Of course you can. There we go. Couple I haven't seen here. Did I see that? The plot to depose Arkham Delane. The plot to depose Arkham Delane. Further information has emerged regarding Vidar Trask's failed attempt to take control of the Kumo Crew Syndicate. The latest findings were reported by the Pegasi Sentinel. The few survivors from Trask's shattered army have revealed that over a thousand fighters were supplied by the Blue Viper Club Dredger Clan. Oh, okay, Cable Lantern, one of its leaders, is now confirmed to have masterminded the coup alongside Trask. Their motivations were as different as their backgrounds. Trask rose to power beside Archon Delane but became frustrated under his rule, believing that he could reorganize the Kumo crew along more efficient lines. Volantine aimed to provide her nomadic tribe with permanent homes to be financed by trafficking onion head gamma strain and protected <laughs> by the syndicate's might. Uh. We have also learned that the standard of living on the Blue Viper Club dredger has markedly improved in recent months. This was in accordance mm. with the terms of the alliance that Volantine brokered between the clan and the Kumo crew. According to engineers at Kumo City Starport, the dredger's modernized hyperdrive enables it to make jumps more frequently and over greater distances. This means it could now be almost anywhere within a several hundred light year radius, which may frustrate Delane's vow to hunt down Volantine and exact revenge for her betrayal. Also means that Volantine could just pop up anywhere out of the blue. Hey friendship, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. 
Uh, notice you haven't been on lately, so hope hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. Um, right, here we go. Relaunching the Golconda. So I think this is what the uh, the CG is around this week. I haven't even looked yet. Um, let's have a look. Play that. Relaunching the Golconda. Pilots Federation alert. Traders and combat pilots are required in the Upanaclis system to assist the Golconda in resuming its voyage. The ancient generation ship, which originated from Earth in the 22nd century, has been retrofitted by the Artificer's clan into a functional modern vessel. The majority of its former population have decided to leave the outpost Forester's choice and return to their traditional nomadic lifestyle. Captain Jonathan Forrester, leader of the Golconda Union, announced. In 3305, the galactic community provided us with a chance to end our original journey, so it will be fitting if they can help us start a new chapter among the stars. The Golconda now has a frame shift drive that requires tritium fuel, and shipments of medical diagnostic oh, equipment tritium. and power <laughs> generators are also needed. Oh. The Panaclis Vision Incorporated has agreed to organize the initiative. Pilots are asked to deliver all commodities to Fozard Port, from where they will be transferred aboard the Golconda. Local security forces warn that pirates may attempt to hijack incoming shipments or take uh, control of the Golconda itself. <laughs> As a defensive measure, Just the Panaclis in. Vision Incorporated has offered bounties on all wanted ships in the system. According to the Federal Diplomatic Corp, these events do not violate the legislation that protects isolated societies from cultural contamination. It added, partnership status with the Federation has been extended to the Golconda and continues to apply to Forrester's Choice Outpost. Okay, just realised I haven't given you a shout out yet there, friendship, so do that. Um, if, you, if you haven't caught friendship, um, friendship drive charging, Check her out, really good streamer, good deleter, dangerous streamer. Loads of good content on there already you can watch as well. So go check it out. Um Alright, so it's it looks like it's a it's a supplies run with some people just intercepting it. Alright, um just have a quick look in the shop while I'm here. You know, on the odd, odd the chance. No, three suits. There's not going to be None anything good. Nope, 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 nope. It's all a nope. Sure, you got everything. Maybe yeah. next time. Right. Let's go get back in my ship. I'm going to have to call EDDB up again as well somewhere. Hey, no worries. It seems funny. I don't know. I don't know. I'm streaming at the same time I normally would from when I do a Thursday. I don't know why. Because I'm now going to be streaming probably the next four days. Um, tomorrow I'm not going to be on late. Because I'm going to go see Top Gun Maverick again. <laughs> With a friend. So I'll probably be streaming. I might stream earlier in the afternoon. Because I think, I think Psychic said she's not on tomorrow. So I might go and do like an afternoon sort of one. In that, that sort of mid-afternoon. One. Maybe before Nick normally does his. They better not d depose Archon what's his face. He just signed up. <laughs> to get the... <laughs> yeah. Oh. The scramblers. Uh, what was I going to do? Um, Yeah, that's it. Let's have a look in the... Uh... I'm not in open tonight because I thought it, I thought if I'm going to go and do a CG, I'm I'm not that type of masochist today. <laughs> oh, protect efforts to look. So that's going to be a oh, it's a bounty voucher as well. Oh, you know what? I'll shall I sign up for both of them. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, why not? A panic. Um, oh. so I've been there pretty recently because I went to the Golconda about, I think, a day before the whole thing of them um, doing it up. You know, and now they've all gone, oh, you're doing a ride up. Cool, we'll have it back, thanks. Uh, thing is, I can't remember if it was on this account. I've got a, I've got a feeling it may well have been on my Xbox. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, of course, because it's, um, it's highlighted it. I never remember it doing stuff like that before. Oh, shit, it's 300 light years away. This is going to take me forever. I'm sure this crate's only got like a 30 light, 30 light year jump range. Oh well. We, maybe we can we can do shenanigans. 13 jumps, it's not that bad. Okay, we can always do shenanigans on the way. And, and to be honest, saying that though, it might go up when I load up the ship. What we got? <laughs> Fucking hell, only only fifteenth of the tritium here, yeah, right, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there's none of those things here on the way, so let's have a look. Do 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 Calling up some of my favourite websites and helpers, etc. You know you know what I'm talking about. Eat. EDDB apparently is a musical artist. Really? Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Current system. Hip. One one zero oh, two four eight. Commodity. Let's go with the medical thingies. Medical diagnostic equipment. Uh, Fifty light years. Oh, they got a lot there. Oh, that system's got a lot. Right, let's go to the whack system. Oh, and it sort of looks like it might be in a slightly right direction. And we'll go to Mandel Terminal there. Right. Okay. I'll probably be on to 8-ish tonight, I think. I've been playing a lot of Elite again lately, which has been quite good, quite good fun. Uh, oh, we're in Boom as well. Huh. Um, I haven't done much BGS lately, just because I needed a break from BGS, basically. Do some random missions, some material farming. Um, where else? A little bit of exploration. Trying to figure out how to do the xenobiology stuff because I just haven't really done it. Oh shit, what was that? Hopefully I am in the private group. <laughs> I think I'm running one of, our, one of the private groups I'm in. Three jumps to this one anyway. Here we go. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to a quiet weekend. I was going to go to this reunion night at this rock club I used to go to, but I'm so broke. I've been. Anyone who sees me on Twitter, the amount of um, gigs I've been to lately. So 
even though it didn't those tickets were free just like cost of petrol and everything else like yeah, I'm, I'm a bit on the broke side so and the fact I spent 180 quid on a Lavecon ticket <laughs> so yeah that made me a bit more broke so but there's no way I was going to miss out and I'm going to miss out on that so I thought I'd get it now and then I know I've got a bit of money next month when I do actually go on down to, to that there Milton Keynes to do that my first slave con so looking forward to it and all the bunting all the bunting I bought for the Jubilee yeah yeah but no <laughs> and especially living in Wales as well I know it's part of the UK but you know Let's see, I'm more likely to probably see lots of Welsh flags going up around here than I am Union Jacks other this weekend. Oh. In fact, yeah, I do have a Welsh dragon flag somewhere. Oh. Oh, I can't be bothered stopping. I'm just gonna zoom on through. station now oh Fisher Orbital's got a whopping actually, actually it's a lot cheaper at Fisher Orbital as well um, let's go there Shit, slow down. All the shame. <coughs> I got limpets on here as well. I'm sure I got limpets. Yeah, I'll just leave them there anyway. I mean, I haven't got a huge cargo hold, but it's a little bit to go and take part in something community focused. Hey, Pathos, how are you doing? Oh, the the sh I can't hear the shame thing. It didn't didn't come through. Oh, you know what that is? Have I? Why did that not? Oh no! You know what? And I'll have to go in there. Uh... Did it come up with anything on the screen like your browser source is not online or something like that? Yeah, I didn't hear it. I'll have to... Um, it's probably logged me out of it again. I'll have to go and check. I'll refund you that 100. Um, actually, as soon as I log into it again, it'll probably put it through. <laughs> Just like a delayed reaction thing, I think. Did I do a bong in this? I can't remember. Hello, Kilo Alpha Yankee. Welcome to the station, Commander. Commencement docking. 
Alrighty. Why am I going sideways? Oh, it's that bloody stick again. The ongoing saga of my X56's um, throttle bump stick that always wants to go sideways. Uh, 20, there we go. Somebody just given, gifted me a sub on Psyche's channel, so yay! <laughs> um, right, let's have a look. Um, I just want to see if that. Um, oh god, now you can hear to me because it's. I went onto my channel page to go. Oh no! It, right, it should be, should be working. Let me just. That's weird. I'm gone. Just logging into it now. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think it had logged out of it. Yeah, it's got got your cue there. So hopefully. Pull sound alerts. Skip all sound. Right. Hopefully that should should do it now. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Why is this not doing this? Oh god it's a pain in the backside. Channel points. There you go. Shame. 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 Should work now. Right, okay. Um stuff or services. Come on, smoking. Because I only Got enough for like 100 tons or something. Or is this where everybody's. Still 13 jumps, but 13 jumps, whatever. <laughs> I want to go because I want to take part in something for a change. <laughs> oh.
Hope you're doing all right there, Apophis. Hope you're look, having a good weekend or, well, we're not even at the weekend, but I'm passing it as the weekend already, you know. It's a four day weekend. Oh, for f what are you doing? Come on, ship. What the flip? That's right. Thrust go up, not go down. Yeah, it's a long weekend. Show woo goo. Sell some beers in. Hopefully, sometime in this June, being Pride Month, and and this being me as well, I'm probably gonna have to do a Pride Month stream, just a, a just chat in Pride Month stream. I'll dig one of my my slightly entertaining talks out. I'll say they're slightly entertaining, I mean, people might not like them. But people have paid me to do them before now, so they must be all right. <laughs> I'll just do like a, a Q and a thing at some point during Pride Month. Um, also, great to see um, on Psychic on, on the stream yesterday. Um, just showed a whole range of like uh, Pride merch with, with Flight Assist sort of logos on it which are actually going to go towards raising money for um, ILGA or ILGA or International Lesbian Gay uh, Trans Association um, an organisation that's been around for donkey years a big international organisation um, who do fantastic work so I was really really chuffed to help that hear that and I think um, they're going to do some charity streams through the month and basically invited other people from the community to, to join in with that and I, I'm so up for that. I'll try not to, I'll try and keep my mind on the job here because we've got, we've got quite a few, um, few jumps to get in. good to see um hear a bit more about the um console sort of conversion things of, of accounts uh yesterday as well on uh, on the elite danger stream because i'm definitely gonna do that it's not gonna stop playing it on my xbox but to have for me it'll be two more accounts because i've got a playstation <laughs> account and I've got a, an Xbox account so I'll probably, that'll mean I'll have two console accounts two extra um, PC Horizons accounts and two Odyssey accounts on PC <laughs> yeah there is that thing of splitting your time though isn't it? it I just don't get anywhere yeah yeah, and what they can copy over. Because that's the thing about the arcs staying there, so you can still spend those arcs on your Xbox Commander if you don't just spend them all on on stuff that you want to take over anyway. Personally, I, I don't think I've got, I've got a couple of thousand arcs, I think, on my Xbox account. I'll probably just buy ship skins with them and then, you know, jump over with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
just got me that I was at this I was in this system the other day because I was just doing some general exploration y stuff and, and just visited some features. You know, I did like Jameson's grave and I did the Golconda and what else did I do? A couple of other things and um Jameson's grave, the crash ship. Um and yeah, and the I think the day I come away from it it started you know, there was this other story to come out on it, so I was like Oh, right, okay. There's going to be something coming up there, and I should have just hung around. Let's just hang around for a minute and get a bit of, get a bit of fuel. I'm trying to convince some of my friends to do some um, ED role-playing game, you know, the, the desktop game, because um, I got it, and I've not really played it with anyone yet. Even though I like the look of it, and it's, it looks like a, a, it's, it's elite in it, <laughs> Just play it anyway. Because <coughs> I bought like the digital bundle of that um, a couple of years back, I think. But at the moment, I don't think they're that that keen. So I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe there's an the opportunity to do something like that at LaveCon if there's people running those games or anything. Unless you need to sign up for them beforehand. I've got to, go, got to go down to Cardiff in a couple of weeks now, which I didn't thought I was doing. Back because I've got to that point with my job again now, because I'm a bit healthy, more healthy than I was again. Um, that I start wandering, I start wandering around the, the country, hassling people doing my job. <laughs> and I think the last time I was down in Cardiff was. November, and that's, that's when I met. That's when I met um, Psychic for the first time, face to face. So I'm only going down literally for two hours because I've been invited to uh, a, a quite a flash do down there, um, along the lines of to do with the work that I do. Um, It's like a press reception thing um, at the National Museum of Wales, so it should be quite cool. Might be, you know, like some celebi types there that I can grab selfies with because I'm <laughs> I'm such a queen when it comes. To that. <laughs> oh, and then I'll be like either back on the train or I'll be driving back up north. It takes me about the it takes me about three hours on the train. It takes me about three hours to drive. I'll probably drive um, because it means I can listen to my own music very loudly in the car and sing at the top of my voice. Ah, uh, feels like I've got something crawling out my ear. We got seven more. Oh. So I just signed up for both these community goals. I don't know why, probably because I don't know whether what I want to do, whether I want to do combat or not. I thought I might as well sign up for both of them. Because I've been getting more into combat as well lately. Still trying to get my rating up on that.
I'm getting a bit bored with this ship again at the moment. I mean, this is my main ride, but I'm thinking I might go and get a... I might go and pick myself up a crate Phantom and, and do that out. I mean, I've seen that and got a bored of this. I've only just started really engineering this. But I've still only got some, like, 30 jumps, 30... 30 um, light year jump range on it, I think. So it's still a bit... Yeah. Five more. Getting there. Are we nearly there yet? Nearly. Nearly. Welcome on in if you just dropped by. Um, my name's Kate Chaos. I'm primarily an Elite Danger streamer. Elite Danger, space games, and some Sims. Even though I haven't done any simulators really on, online for a good while, I'm still trying to get. I want to stream DCS World because I play DCS World so much, but every time I come to try and stream it, it just drops frames um, as far as the stream goes like you wouldn't believe um, it's a real hungry game as far as resources go um, but I'm just trying to find like a graphic setting on the game that I can just use for streaming that'll probably ease it up a little bit so I've been trying to do that now for months <laughs> I probably need to drop in some um, DCS forums and, and see if anyone in there could give us a hand with it. And it is the Jubilee this weekend in the UK, but one thing you will not find on my stream is me um, playing lots of patriotic music and saluting the Queen and things like that. Um, I have to say. I'm just not somebody who particularly likes the monarchy I'm a I'm a big lefty so you know Petrol at the next one. This is so pretty. Oh, back. Please have fuel at the next one. Dwarf, I can't remember whether you can do it. Your granddad was a massive Republican, it wore off on you. <laughs> oh, I've got two jumps. What am I going to get there? Oh, it's alright, I'm going to get there. Okay. 
If they came on the TV, you'd turn it over immediately. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, Liz, you know, but it's just the whole thing of why all the money comes out of our pockets to finance them and the, the, some of the richest, most privileged. Oh. Yeah. Eat the rich and all that. Redistribute the wealth. I'm all about that. Shit, I'm going to be so low on, on fuel at this when I get to this one. Oh <laughs> shit. I'm an inch away from needing the fruit from <laughs> from needing the fuel racks. Somebody better not jump me when, <laughs> when I get jump when I drop into the system. Oh shit. Give me the juice. Right. Oh shit, where am I actually delivering them to? Um, Bozard Port. For a slot to cook, oh, only eighty odd percent. There we go. Oh, the resource sites. I thought I was going right past it and it was making that, that noise it makes. How, how many fleet carriers in there? I suppose we could go to the extraction site and, and get some vouch, bounty vouchers there, couldn't I? Actually, I think that's what I might do after I've just dropped these this hundred and something tons off. I'll go and I'll have a look. Um, I'll have a look in EDDB and see if we can find a because you know all the close sources of all the all of the um, commodities are going to really disappear fairly quick. I mean, with his PGs, I never get. I, I just like to get some of the rewards in there and and get somewhere up the up the scale on there. I'm never somebody who's like, I've got to get in that that top such and such a percent. As long as I'm like top seventy five or above, I'm generally happy. 
it's, it's a taking part it's getting involved in that story and, and everything and it's it's good like that and I, I know some people are, are friends around are probably popping going no it's all about getting in that top five <laughs> um right I'm not in open, <laughs> as you can probably tell because CG-wise in this system there'll probably be a ton of signals, but no, I'm in private group, because I'm not in the mood for ganking or getting or getting ganked today. Oh. Pad 37, is that near the back? Yeah. Oh, no, halfway in. million profit that was all right from like a 137 tons right let's <coughs> um upon a kill upon that's it, isn't it? Oh. And it clicks. Um. Alright, so we have got stations fairly close. Um. Oh, actually. Uh, they've got a fair bit there, I think. Actually, no, let's go to the, that system. I've got much more. Let's see All about getting the top 10 so Zach can forget to put your name on. <laughs> oh, if you have a rude name, yeah, and, and Zach won't put it on there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it might help pop my reputation up a bit around here because it's shit at the moment. Right, let's go. And um, before we jump out there, and I've, I've just set that because I'm going to go and just sit on one of the resource sites and kill bad guys for a little bit, unless they kill me first. Oh no, backwards is not the way to go. so much to watch on the TV at the moment as well so that's what, what else I'm going to be doing this, this jubilee weekend is probably 
I, somebody told me the boys is back on and it's advertised, but I couldn't see. Um, I couldn't see an episode on there, but it might not have just dropped yet. But if you haven't seen that show, they're on the gory side, but incredibly good. Also, Obi Wan, I watched the third episode. I'm absolutely loving it. No spoilers, but it's not what I thought it was, and I'm still loving it. Hey, Hamburger, how you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Oh, oh Stranger Things 2. Yeah, thank you. Because that... Oh, right, Series 3. Hey, Noddy, how you doing? Um, that drops tomorrow, right? Okay. It's only because it was on Prime today and it, it, it was on there as if it was already on, but it was just the trailer. You still haven't fi finished Boba Fett. Oh, you mean the Mandalorian part 2.5? <laughs> um, yeah. I, I love that, but, but Obi-Wan, I mean, you could watch that. You don't have to watch that. It's not like sequence-wise. Oh, it was just so... I really loved it. But yeah, Stranger Things, I haven't even touched that yet. That's got to be something to binge watch this this weekend because they dropped all of the series for that, didn't they? <coughs> right. Oh shit, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I didn't want to come out here. I was going to go and do a... I was going to go and do a resource site, wasn't I? But I might as well do this now because it's me talking, chatting, talking shit, losing track of what the hell I'm doing. Right. What am I looking for? Rutherford Port is where I'm looking for in this system. You and wife Boga love... Yeah. The last episode of the last series has to be one of the best pieces of TV ever. Just uh, just the ending part of it, you know, for anyone who's an 80s kid, it's just... Oh, God. It was stunningly brilliant. Um, I mean, the never-ending story. I mean, that was the last one, wasn't it? I can't remember. Yeah, they do everything from like the whole D and D. I mean, what that's done for D and D as a game. The fact, you know, that sort of brought. The only other time I can ever remember seeing D and D, where you had a bunch of people sat around the table like that in a big piece of mainstream media, was in ET. You know, with Elliot and Elliot's brother and that, and the start of it. Um, and funny enough, my my ex bought me the. Um, the uh, um, the Stranger Things D and D set, which looks like the old basic set that I had in 1981-82, it's just great. Do a did I do a bong? Can't remember. You remember that set well? Oh, yeah. Two red books, uh, and you know what? I've still got. I've still got. Um, yeah, I've still got all the dice that came with it as well. Um, they were just like plain blue sort of dice. I haven't got the box off the original, but I've still got the... Part of me wishes I hadn't thrown it out, but it was battered. It was absolutely falling to pieces. But I've still got the box from that original set, and I've still got the expert set and the companion set that I had back in the 80s. They were just... Oh, they were so good. 
You had an awesome DM back then. He was a vicar and he played the parts of all the NPCs. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, I, I work as a youth worker as well, part time occasionally. And, and one thing we did for a while during COVID was we ran D and D games with some of the some of the young people we worked with, and you know, it, they were just got so into it. It was just fantastic. You know, doing it online because we couldn't do our normal face to face sessions to to support these uh, these young people. Oh, look! It looks like a big bowl of cheese. Cheese grommet. Usually had white wine. <laughs> Game two. Uh, right. Okay. So. I play D and D with a great group at the moment. Most of them are in Nottingham. One of them, a couple of them are in Stoke. But we try and do face to face when we can, just because it's a really good catch up. You know, we'll go and sit in somebody's house and play for eight hours or whatever. But you know, if we can't all get together, we still tend to make sure we can do it digitally because using Roll Twenty and stuff like that, which is which is such a great sort of tool for doing that. Cake! Yeah, not the other thing. And came. Yeah, that could have been... That could have been interpreted. I wasn't too sure what you were saying at that point, but... If Nick Lambert was here, he would have definitely interpreted it in a certain way. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, if, you're, if you are here and lurking. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Fly your ship. Fly your ship, Chaos. 33, where the hell? Oh, that's 33. Then again, we know what cake does to Shatner's bassoon. I don't even know what the prices are here, but you know, you just buy it, don't you? Um... <laughs> I think it's about 800 per ton more than I paid for it in the original place. Uh... Let's have a quick look. Let's stretch our legs virtually a second before we do head on back. Ooh, shiny station. Go and have a look in the shop. Oh, Buckyball advert. Wow, this is a clean station. Who else time to keep a station clean like this? Probably slaves. It's probably Imperial slaves. Been trying to fuel rat with your old access account. But no Odyssey cases can turn up. Well, I could have nearly been one very um, when I just jumped into the CG system. Um, I was had very very little fuel.
Such skins are guaranteed brand new. Take a look. Yeah, no. Never any good ones when you just got rain. Um. Nope, 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 nope. I'm sure, you've got everything. Everything you need. Okay. One place. Yeah. Anything else you need? No time. Back when you're ready. I will. Um. Uh, right. All right. Let's bugger off back over there. Hand in, hand in the money. Hand, no, hand in the goods. And then we will go. We'll probably do a run back here. We'll probably do a couple of little runs, but we'll, we'll guess they don't spend all their time murdering like a glass landing. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, a bit of frame loss there. Um, yeah, I'm going to break it up a bit because you don't want to see me just going backwards and forwards between two locations for the next hour. Um, we might drop a mission, but I'm going, definitely going to go and do some pew pew pick up some bounty vouchers or something look at that I just automatically wanted to go up the steps you know does that say does that show I've been playing too much Star Citizen oh god I, I mentioned the, the name Star Citizen while playing Elite Dangerous you think Gaff Devil hear me probably not do they ever listen oh did I say that out loud Not so bad though when it's quiet in the rescue channel. Gives you a chance to catch up with your writing. Cool. Are you writing anything in particular at the moment or is it just, you know, um. <coughs> oh. Wow. Is it just um, some of the online stuff you've got out there, is it? Like posts and blogs and stuff, Rush Fleet stuff. Uh... All clear. Flight control signing off. I keep on meaning to start trying to write some fiction for like, do some like in our logs, but I never get confident enough to put stuff out there in that way. Ah, Fuel Wrap Diaries Part 2. Cool. Ooh, second novel. Nice. Oh, I'd love to be able to... I mean, I've had a book I've been trying to write for years, but I'm, me and having the... Considering what I do for a job, I'm normally really, really quite... quite efficient and have my shit together um, up to a point but as far as sitting down and writing writing I mean I've been published in books um, I've wrote chapters in other people's books um, but but um, yeah never never been disciplined enough to sit there and write my own book because <laughs> um stuff I've wrote is mostly around like LGBT rights and that there was a book called oh called Trans Britain that came out a couple of years back uh, it was a crowdfunded one but it's it, it's a really good selling book I got no money out of it because I was asked by somebody to do it and at the time I thought yeah try to write 400 words a day even if you feel poo <laughs> sounds like good good, good advice um, yeah, I wrote 
I wrote a chapter in that and it was about growing up in the 70s and 80s as a sort of trans kid. Um, and then it, it was published, oh god I can't remember the publisher's name on that, but um, it went out under Christine Burns name, it was like edited by Christine Burns and she just basically got a load of people to write chapters about different experiences. And I wrote a lot about music in that, about people like Jane County and, and people like Bowie who wouldn't, who never um, fit into anyone's expectations of who they are, because I'm a bit of a music nerd. Um, I put a lot of that in there. Um, and then I wrote a letter in a book called To My Trans Sisters which was about trans women from and they were letters basically and it say a letter it was like a a chapter a short chapter I hope you get an agent though those things you wrote that was a Pratchett quote God of course it was I love Pratchett as well so yeah um yeah, Bowie's one of my all-time sort of heroes and stuff, but he was very much in a talk I did about about sort of LGBT representation in music and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I did that other one. I've, I wrote teachers' guides in in some in a, a couple of kids' books as well. That's partly more tied in with my job, though. But yeah, it'd be good to um, good to get around to it. I mean, if anything, they're probably going to be history books, or one of them's going to be about a music one, but the other one's probably going to be about history of of activism in certain ways. Yeah, I'll, I can send you some links at some point. Um, I, mean, I, get, I get zero money out of them because the the other ones by Jessica, the Trans Sisters one that was on Jessica Kingsley Publishing. Um, they're a publisher who do a lot of like equality and, and quite diversity focused books. I'm completely not concentrating on what I'm doing here. Do, 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 do. I just thought I've probably got some. I've picked up some data on the way, haven't I? So I can as well cash that in here as well before I go into some resource site and get blown up and lose it. I wrote some articles as well for various news things as well and and websites and things like that. Alpha Yankee. We've prepared a landing pad for your arrival, Commander. I'm not a good writer. Luckily, you know, it's editors are good for for my my grammar is dire, but I can put stuff down really well that people can, you know, at least I think it it comes across well as long as people can fix it, <laughs> fix it afterwards because I'm just not very confident with it. Pad eight, pad eight, pad eight. Where are you? Can't remember where pad eight is. And down the back somewhere. There it is. Yeah, definitely will do. Um, I might PM you, PM them to you in um, in Twitter or something. Shut down. Welcome to our starboard, Commander. 
Right. Sal, Sal, Sal. Yeah, these won't won't get as much for these. Uh, 2.9 million still profit, that's alright. Quite nice profit anyway. Right, okay. Um whoops. Son's best friend is a trans man, lovely fellow. Oh, that's <laughs> good to hear. Oh, shh. Is that the one I'm after? Yeah, it's a bit of a shit time at the moment with a lot of um, the media stuff around all that. Um, and I've been involved with a lot of that sort of stuff. But... That's what I like about Twitch and stuff like that. This quite often gives me a bit of an escape from it. I'll talk about it quite happily, but, you know, it's like when I come on here, I'm just a gamer like everyone else, and I just get to hang out with friends and and do this sort of stuff, which is great. Right, okay, let's... Oh, hang on. Let's check. Have we got any data? Data? Bit of data? Won't be much. Hundred thousand. Might help. Every little helps. Right, okay. Don't know who this band is, but they want to be ACDC. if the music's coming through I turned it right down low so it probably is in the background right uh, what we got oh resource extraction site low and it's right next to us I mean it's only a low but it probably means I'm less likely to get killed <laughs> I was only well common. Oh, I'm as common as muck, me. I mean, I'm probably technically middle class, but yeah. You know, but I, I'm a complete lefty. Um, so, oh, hang on, let it sort of speed again. Right. Oh, I love that. There's a carry there called Read the Manual. <laughs> oh. Nearly there. Keel back, that ain't gonna be one, is it? Keel back, ugh. What a just bloody. What is it good for? Good looking out for the, the pew pew of laser beams. Oh, that'll do. Oh, yeah.
Yay! Right, while we're here. get some materials which I'm really short on you too anarchist to heart but anarchy is gonna work the way no this is true <laughs> going through materials so quickly lately because I'm trying to do some engineering Get a bit closer to him. I can always pick some up myself. Oh, hang on. Who are you then, Mr. Picking? If you're looking at me, you got to be a bad guy. The vulture, huh? You might be a bit tougher. I don't know, competent. Oh, he's in the team. Oh, hang on, he's getting, he's taking fire though. Boom. I love the, the I love the earth chattering kaboom. Kids, if you don't know who Marvin the Martian is, you're really losing out. Brain the size of a planet. I love Marvin. Fairly recently, I ended up getting all of the original radio plays, well, all the radio plays for all the books, the BBC ones. Just as good as they always ever were. Just absolutely awesome stuff. You love a bit of bounty hunting? Yeah, why not? Um, I'm never that great at it, but I mean these, just like a low risk sort of area and it's like part of the CG thing, isn't it? I think Bounty Vouchers or whatever, but it's also my combat rating isn't thingy. I'm still, yeah, I'm still expert. So I've got lots and lots of ranking up to do on this account. I haven't even got a single elite on this account yet. Probably go closer to those things so the poor little limpet doesn't have to come as far even though it does get left out in space when i'm done with it you know ready for for that there nick lambert to find it we're all aware of what can happen then
Fair enough for the materials. I mean, I, I haven't got the patience. I'm like, oh god, I just want to go kill things while you know, just, just fly around with my cargo scoop open and, and blow the crap out of others. You're still only competent. Yeah, I mean, combat's always the bloody tough one as well. You know, it's always. I always hit trade elite first on other accounts and that. And but I've got that many accounts though, it's hard to probably hit elite on anything. Because I'm split between them too much. Right, okay. Um, an eagle. There's a good chance that's a baddie. Sid Barrett! Sid Barrett! Sid Barrett of Pink Floyd, I mean, really? Oh, hang on. They're good guys shooting bad guys. Howard Lovecraft. Oh, and you're a python as well. You'll have a decent... Oh, I didn't get a piece of that, did I? Because I didn't get a good hit on him. <laughs> oh. Hang on. You know what, for a low, a bloody low intensity one, there's a lot of, um, it's all the system security stuff isn't it, you can see a conda there, they're a right little gang these aren't they, Asp Explorer, Another Aspect Explorer. Mostly armless. You're not going to be a bad guy, are you? No. Type 6 sure as hell ain't going to be. Yeah, it, it came up, Sid Barrett. Yeah, he would be out in outer space, wouldn't he? I mean, yeah, there, there's some great commander names that come up in here, right? Uh, an adder. An adder's not likely to be one, is it? Oh, hang on. I see some... I see some... I'm sure I some some lasery stuff. I need to find this lot ganging up on something like a conda um, and then just chip in for the money. Uh. Oh, a courier. That could be one. Yeah, that is one. Bog all money for it though. Oh, let's just sit here for a minute. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> that that. Have to go. No problem, Hamburger. Great to catch you. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, Python. That's got to be one. Oh, it's clean. There we 
we go. the fun about flight assist off. <laughs> he could take my shields out here. Oh great, others are piling in on him now. Amy Farrell. Oh what, I didn't get any bounty for that. I was too far away. Bastards. Bastards. You stole my kill, you bastards. I don't know, do all the work, take all the bloody damage, you know. Ah, uh, Spick Explorer. Uh, very rarely. Or is it mostly harmless? Definitely not. Federal gunship. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Diamondback Explorer. Oh. There's a 
another one. Right. Let's have a break. Grab some more stuff. What are we on bounty wise? What have we picked up? Not a million yet. <laughs> We're having fun though. Some bits up there, I think. We've done this we will head on out to um pick up some more medical stuff and then head on back with that drop it off collect the bounties do all of that malarkey oh federal assault ship you gotta be one haven't you Just flying around with my cargo scoop out. <laughs> ah. Give me the stuff. Oh, oh, somebody's taking fire. Oh, team of three. This could get... This could get... Um... Let's hang around them. Hopefully the security services will open up on them. I'm not... I don't want to do a one on three. Because <laughs> um, I might get my ass handed to me on a plate. There we go. Did I just see fire then? Yeah.
Oh, a clipper. That's got to be a bad guy ship. Yeah. Get out of the way because he can take my shields down in no time. Ooh, 385 grand. Nice. some point we will go and, and oh hang on do some other stuff They're going to jump out before we get to them, are they? Yeah. Yeah, grand. What else we got? Right, let's. Oh shit, what was that? Something just jumped in right on, on my head. I can see buddies.
Yeah, I'm not going to take you on a clipper on my own. Come on, good guys. Come and help me out here. Let's just betrayal them. Yeah, that's the good guys, is that? Crazy Ivan. Here come the good guys! Yay! It's the cavalry! Because shit, my shields are nearly gone. Two point two million at the moment. You know what? Let's just go. Let's go back to the station before we go anywhere. <laughs> I, I would say I'm not going to risk anything, possibly losing that. But but let's hang around. We're having fun here, to be honest. This is oh shit! Somebody's taking fire. I can hear it. Oh, missed them. Explorer competent. Shields are out. Took his time, but he got some got some shots on me eventually. Again, I can hear, I can hear pew pews.
nearly um, nearly picked on another <laughs> on um, a good guy then by accident. Oh, cobra! The name like beast. It's got to be a bad guy, isn't it? That's a, is that a two ship? That's a two ship, isn't it? Kaboom! Hey, hey, Phoenix Blue, how you doing? Welcome on in, first time chatter as well, even though I've seen you in loads of different places. Just doing a bit of like CG sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> um, bit of bounty hunting. Bit of like chilled out bounty hunting, believe it or not. <laughs> Come on, have it! God, I'll start sounding like Nick Lambert in a minute if I carry on like this. Kaboom! Right, there's some more. There's little... This is supposed to be like a low intensity one, but there's bloody tons of them. Oh, hang on. I can see pew pews down there somewhere. Hope you're doing alright. time I get here this fight will be over I think it is over yeah a scout Right, what have we got? Um, add a federal assault ship. That's got to be a bad guy. I'd hope if I just didn't try and boost into him for a start. Yeah, you're a baddie. You're a baddie. Have some more cannon. Multi cannon in your face. In your face up your arse wherever it'll go. Whoa. And try not to run into an asteroid. Fair toast. Kaboom. Federal gunship, another one. Right, let's go get that one. That sure as hell got to be a bad guy. 
What? It wasn't. You tell me it's a federal gunship that's mining. However, you are a bad guy. Few on him now. Ooh. Another ninety five grand. Side a uh, winder. Oh god, it just feels it just feels wrong to go and pick on a winder. Look at but everybody is by the look of it. Um oh there's a courier there as well. Courier will be a bad one. few others on, on this one now. Get back in there. Yay. Look at that sidewinder stuff. <laughs> oh god. I laugh if I get my ass handed to me on a plate by a sidewinder now. Oh no, he's a novice. Oh god, it feels it feels just so wrong. All for 28,000, I mean. <laughs> right, what else we got? Oh, federal drop... Is that like... Good guy federal dropship? No, that's another one. We haven't got an idea on that yet. It's been a lot of these dropships. Yeah, that's a baddie. Have some multi cannon. Ouch. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> There's all my bounties. Gone. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. I had like a few million there. It just shows you, doesn't it? Getting cocky. But that was just literally, it took my shields down, then I bounced into him. Boom. That's the game. 
um, shields w went really low. The gunship took my shields really low. Then I bounced into him. Then I bounced into him again. And boom. No worries. <laughs> you live, you learn. You don't get salty about it. <laughs> hey, David William. William J? William. Yeah, a double boop. Nothing like a double boop, eh? Oh, and I lost 11 limpets, and that means Nick might be out to get them. Right, okay. Um, no biggie. Three and a half million for a rebuy. I made that in the last run. <laughs> oh, what time are we on? We've got about eight minutes left, actually, on stream normally. Oh, God, that just shows you. And I was thinking, yes, I got had a really good time. And you know what, though? I've had really good fun doing some of this um, bounty hunting stuff. But how, however, it just means I've lost all that crap, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, th those ones are from the other one, though, so I've still... What? Hang on. Three hundred grand. Right. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. You know, that's like the second time I've done something like that recently. Oh, God, you just wouldn't believe it, would you? Um, okay, let's have a look. So, you know what? I reckon I'm going to finish now, I reckon, because I only got a couple of minutes. So we're going to go and raid. I'm going to raid somebody I haven't raided before. Which is Bernardo7. Bernardo7. Um, I really enjoyed yesterday. I will be back on tomorrow. I will be back on tomorrow, though. Not in my normal spot around 8-ish. Because I'm going to go and see... Maverick again. Um, I'm going to be back on um, in the afternoon. I think Psychic said she's not on tomorrow, so I might I might do one that we can raid into Nick with tomorrow. See how we go. I'm not sure there's Nick about. No, actually, I won't be able to do that because I'll be out already. But you'll see me tomorrow afternoon if you're around. Right. Much love. 07. Take care out there. Stay safe. Uh, no problem, Apathos. Thanks for hanging with me. And let's go raid Bernardo7. Ta-ra.